Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Yandere Simulator Myths, a series where you guys ask me questions, give me challenges, or tell me myths that you guys have about the game, and I try to answer them in this video. We have a lot of good ones to go through today, so let's get it started. First myth of today's episode is... Here's a myth. One, join the art club. Two, get some blood on you. Three, go to the delinquents. What will the delinquents do? That was actually more of a question than an actual myth, but you know what? We don't judge here at the Cub Scouts. A myth, a question, a challenge, it's all the same thing to us. But anyway, first thing we need to do is join the art club, and then we can get that sexy apron and that cool little hat, which I don't even know the name of. Where is the art club? There it is. I'm glad I know where all the clubs are. I'm getting good at knowing where everything is. Join the club. Yes, Miss Hair all over my you face. Joined the club. All right, and we we see see I got the hat on me. Ho, ho, ho. Let's change into our sexy ass apron with our little cute slippers. And then now we need to kill someone. Can you guess who I'm gonna kill, guys? Ding 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 ding. You're right. It starts with an M and ends with a green. Okay, got blood all over us. That's what we like to do. That's what we like to see. We are going to go over to the delinquents and see if they do anything to me. I'm going to stand right in front of the ladies right here. They should spawn around me if I stand here. I think if I do it just right. Okay. And we have about two minutes in game time. The fastest game time ever. What do you guys think they're going to do? Place your bets in the comments down below. The person who gets it right is an instant millionaire. Said no one ever. That is never going to happen because I don't even have a million bucks. Do you have a million bucks? If you do, then place them on the table and let's see what happens. I personally think that they are going to smack me upside the head, but no, they're not. You're going to smack me upside the head? No, you're just going to push me? All right, all right, pushy bitches, pushy bitches. Okay, so they aren't doing anything. I have blood all over my apron. Join the art club. They think it's red paint with their dumb asses. Hopefully that answers your question. On to the next one. If you cook the Octo Dogs in Donkey Kong, aka Big Arms, will the Octo Dog be big or the same size? All right, let's turn into Donkey Kong. Haven't done that in a while. DK mode is K. There you go. We have a big head, big arms, but our body is still the same size. I don't know why that looks freaking weird, but freaking cool at the same time. I look like one of those mascots at like an amusement park or something. I look weird, but this is so cool. I would buy this if it was like one of those dolls like those toys Greetings. that you can put on like a desk or something but anyway we are gonna join this club you have joined the club and we have a big hat on <laughs> that is so cool <laughs> oh my god i love it i love the simple things in life okay let's open that and then reach in there and let's see if the octo dogs are big or not Okay, pull out the knife. It's still the same size and she's chopping it up underneath the table. Oh, are they still the same size? Oh I don't know. It looked a little bit bigger, but it looks like it's the same size on the plate Well, I don't know. That was kind of anticlimactic. I thought they were gonna be big. Whoa, what the the plate is huge though Okay, they are big let me try giving some of these out and see if the Octo Dogs are big when I give it to the other students. But since I'm in DK mode, I have to ask them in DK mode. So here you go. And it just disappeared off the plate. So I don't know. Yeah, they just like give me a thumbs up and that's it. So yes, the Octo Dogs and the plate are big when you are in DK mode. It looks hilarious as hell. Why the hell is this fuckboy spinning? I have no idea. The handkerchief on my head looks so awesome and so cool. On to the next one. What if you gave a baseball bat to a mind slave? Maybe there's a new animation? Maybe, baby, but there's only one way to find out. So our mind slave, come on down, Saki me, you! I am so glad that that was added to the debug menu. You couldn't do that before, but they put it in, I don't know how many builds ago, but I'm excited for that. Wait, I was gonna go for the shovel, but let's go for the baseball bat. There we go, baseball bat. And then let's go to Saki Meal. Wait a minute. What the fuck? Hold on, it's not letting me give the weapon to Saki. Maybe I need to join the sports club or something? Let me see the benefits. You will be able to carry sports equipment anywhere without being considered suspicious. You have joined the club. Okay, that said nothing about being able to give weapons to mind slaves or anything like that. But screw it, we're gonna try that. That's never happened to me before. I could give a weapon to a mind slave at any time, no matter what type of weapon. I gave the mind slave a circular saw. There wasn't the saw animation though. They kind of like just stabbed them like it was a knife. 
but hopefully the Mind Slave can do the new bat animation where I swing it and knock them the fuck out. I'm and I still can't give her the bat. Hold on here. Let me figure out what's going on. Okay, so I found out the source of the problem, guys. You can no longer give mind slaves large weapons like this. I remember I did that in a few episodes prior to this one. Uh, somebody asked me if I could give something to the mind slave, and it was like a large weapon, and I couldn't give it to them anymore. But I can give this box cutter to them, see? But you can no longer give big weapons like the baseball bat, the katana, the saw, the shovel to a mind slave. So that is debunked. On to the next one. I have one. One. Kidnap somebody. Two. Go to your basement. Three, set up cinematic mode or something. Four, torture them while in cinematic mode. What will happen? Can you see Yandere torture the student? I doubt it, but I've never actually tried that before. So we are going to do that right now and either prove it right or debunk it. So I'm going to choose you. Follow me, please. Let's go get the trank and the syringe. Oh, wait, actually, I'm going to go see my waifu, my real waifu, my big bootied big breasted nurse oh my god there you are mm, give me a kiss girl i mean i know i'm a girl but girl on girl action for the win anyway let's go trank this hoe and bring her back to our house close the door and she went bam nighty night well actually it's only 7:09 a.m so uh morning morning i don't know what do you usually say when you go to sleep during the morning hardcore napu or something whatever we are gonna fast forward time go over to the house and let's see if we can go in cinematic mode while we torture somebody. Hello, Clarice. Let's see if I can torture that ass. Mm. Nope. You cannot pull out your camera while you are down here in the basement. That sucks. Shouldn't you have your cell phone on you at all times? I mean, everyone has their cell phone on them nowadays. It sucks that you can't have it while you're down here in the basement. I hope Beyond Dairy Dev implements you having your phone here and putting it in cinematic mode as you're torturing them. But as for now, we can only torture her in this view, this POV type of shot. I don't know why it looks like you're like standing over her or you're like eight feet tall and she's looking up at you. But whatever, you cannot pull your phone out while you're torturing somebody. On to the next one. Can you drag a body with you down the glitched floor from when you leave the school? If you can, does the body stay with you or falls away from you? Okay, here's what we need to do. We need to go into falcon mode. I'm pretty sure, or at least I hope, that the body would stay with you like locking hands as you're like falling through the floor. That would be cool. But we're going to see if it tears away from us or if we are still holding hands while we are down the glitched floor outside the school. Let's fast forward time so we can get fuckboy senpai to arrive at the fountain there we go and it's almost showtime ladies and gentlemen actually it is showtime i don't even know what i'm talking about but we are gonna wind up our fist and ba boom knock your ass out let's drag him over oh no is his r still here come on get it yes got it okay let's go over to the corner because the teacher is probably gonna come over here and then uh let's pick this up Saw this bitch up and I need to kill somebody else and then bring them to the floor with me So I'm gonna go up to the roof I'm gonna kill Midori lock hands with her and then we are gonna see if she can fall through the floor with us So let's go up here and Then grab the naifu actually you know what I'm gonna bring Oka. She's my girl or better yet Kudere Yeah, so pick her up or drag her and then let's fast forward time and then go over here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Where's the body? Okay, the body's still spazzing out. There we go. All right, got it. Hopefully the teacher isn't trying to get us. Fuck. Come on, teacher, don't get us. No! Fuck! You gotta be shitting me. Okay, let's try that again. Like, the thing I don't get is how the teacher even saw me. That was so weird. I teleported to the occult club, then I teleported outside of the school, and that was all weird. But whatever, we're gonna do this again. We're gonna get Kudere with us, and this time, I'm gonna make sure we fall out of the map with Kudere in our hands. Okay, unfortunately, Kudere is not up here yet, and since I dismembered Senpai, I cannot run, so I gotta walk over to Midori. Day! There you go. Goodness gracious. Okay, let's pick the body up. And then teleport to the occult done? club. What oh, fuck done? me. Oh, God. We got to make this fast. Okay. Fast forward time. Stop right now. Shit. All right. You know what? I'm going to go over here. I'm going to go over here. 
No, 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 no. Teleport! Whew. Okay, I'm gonna wait for her to go inside of the school, wherever she is, and stop wiggling around, Midori. You're causing a scene, okay? And let's wait for her to come up. Actually, you know what? I think I can go home now. So let's go here. And come on. The teacher's not here. Yes, perfect. Come on. All right. I'm going to wait for her to stop spazzing. Please. Thank you. Okay, let's fall through. And is she coming with us? Yes. Okay, we are still locking hands. And she's coming down with us. Let's go. That is so cool. <laughs> you know what, though? I want to see what it looks like if we pick up a student and then fall through. I want to see if they actually stay in our arms or they keep spazzing out like she's doing right now. So let's try that again. Oh, there's Kudere. You're going to come with me, girl. I'm going to pick her up if I can walk fast enough. Get her. Yes. All right. Let's pick her up like so. And then fast forward to the end of school. And then there. Okay. The reason why I'm fast forwarding to the end of school so I could just instantly teleport in front of the school but let's make our way down here and see if Kudere can jump with us and make the leap of faith. Yes! We did it, Kudere. We did it, girl. We dropping all the way down to hell. And then let me just let her go by doing that. Wait. Oh, she's gone. What the hell? Hold on. Oh, what? Okay. So wait, if I pull up my phone and then I look up, there's a pick up drag option. And then I pick her up while I'm still falling down that makes sense here actually let me try this let me put my camera down here like so and then look up can I pick her up oh her body is falling too no I picked it up look if you guys can see it you can see me holding her body still okay so that was actually a really good one yes if you kill someone and drag them down into the glitched floor outside of the school you will still be holding their hands they won't like go away from you and if you pick up their body they will be in your arms like young sleeping i mean excuse me dead kudere so that is true on to the last myth of today's episode here's a myth one kill someone two Show the body to the delinquents. Three, fast forward time and go home. Will the delinquents come into your house? Okay, this one might be a little difficult because yeah, I can show the delinquents the body and all that stuff, but I'm also gonna need to throw away all the evidence or else I'm gonna be wanted by the police and then arrested and then it's game over and nobody wants all that stuff. So let me think this through real quick. I guess what I could do is push Midori off the railing over here and not get her into the dumpster. I need to get her onto the floor and then I need to show the body to the delinquent really quick. And then when he starts chasing me, I run away from him or at least try, come back in this area right here, throw the body and the weapon in the incinerator, try to change as fast as I can and then go home where I have no evidence on me that might be something tough to do, but I am up for the challenge. So let's get it started. Okay, I just debugged Midori to go over to the railing. This is going to be very difficult, but I think we can get away with it as long as we have good separation from the delinquents. And what the fuck kind of hairstyle is this? It looks cool though. I like it. I think I'm going to keep it. So let's push her off as so. And then I think the delinquents already spawned, didn't they? Yeah, no, no, they didn't spawn yet. I don't see them down there. And Midori's there. Perfect. Okay, let's try to hurry up and then show the body to the delinquents. And then I'll teleport somewhere. And I'll just play that same cat and mouse game where I try to avoid them. Okay, hopefully we can do this, guys. This is going to be extremely difficult. Please, 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 I don't know. This is going to be difficult as fuck. But let me make sure I'm already ready. Okay, there you go. Boom! Come on, Jay. Don't do this, baby. Oh, God, I already saw her, like, going down. Fuck! No, this is not good. Oh, God, guys, I don't know if I'm going to do this shit. This motherfucker's going to get me, and I don't even know what to do. Okay, come on. Oh, fuck! She popped up from me out of the wall. What a skank. Okay. Plan A wasn't successful. Let me see what I can do for plan B. All right, guys, here's what we're going to do. Since you can get away with murder by turning on one of the Easter eggs, I'm going to be in Falcon mode so I can easily run away from these guys. And then I am going to throw Midori in the incinerator, activate it, 
keep running away from the delinquents, and then go home and see if the delinquents can come to us at our house. All right, here we go. It's showtime. Let me just walk up here because I gotta be very, very sneaky. What? And there you go. Triggered. Oh, hell, you're coming. Triggered. Warning. Trigger warning. <laughs> there we go. Okay, she's I gonna keep knew chasing you didn't me. Have the guts. But I'll be all right. I think only one of them chases you like per playthrough. So let's go here. And let me throw this shit in there. Huh? Come, on, come 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 on. Act oh shit, dump, 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 dump. Hurry, fuck! Come on. Oh shit! Oh, I teleported. Okay. Oh what? I teleported. Nah, that's some bullshit, dude. Okay, that seemed like a good idea. So let's try that one again. And you know what? I'm gonna take my frustrations out on you, Midori. You get that fucking punch! Oh shit! Really, nigga? No! Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, um, <laughs> we're gonna go down here. See, that's what happens when you're frustrated. Things don't go according to plan. So let me get this evil skank, and then let me time it to where Yandere. I can punch you right. <laughs> what? Really? All right, Yandere. let me get this conga line right here. Bam! And somebody's right here. So let's pick that ass up. And go over to the delinquents. Okay, showtime, ladies and gentlemen. Do it! Yes! All right, let's lead this girl yeah, all the way over I here. Thought. And she's still following me? Yes, she is. Okay. Don't worry, buddy. You are going to be in the incinerator soon. You are going to be barbecue chicken. Don't you worry about that. So once she comes over here, I'm just going to bolt like Hussein Bolt. Okay, there you go. Come on, we can do this. Oh, this is going to be way too easy. That bitch still back there. Okay, what? so dump her in there. This is the slowest dumping animation of all time, though. And then activate that. Okay, go, 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 go. Okay, I think I should be good. The body is burning. I think I can go home, so let me actually fast forward time. And then let's go home. Hopefully this works. The police arrive at school. Did somebody smack me over the head as I was going home? I heard that. You guys heard that, right? That is some bull. Hold on. Let me see <laughs> if Yandere goes home and if the people can get her at her house. Let me see. I heard somebody smack me, and I know you guys heard that too. So we're going to play the waiting game, and if the delinquents come to our house, that is going to be some crazy shit. Okay guys, I have waited around for a very long time and I even sped up time and still no delinquents. I think I'm going to have to debunk this. If you guys are wondering why it says pick up at the bottom, it's because I went down to the basement and like I was in the corners and it was telling me to pick up and it kind of just stayed there, kind of just glitched on there. I really wish you could bring the delinquent home with you, but unfortunately you cannot, so that is debunked. Even though when I went home, you guys could hear that animation of them swinging the bat and hitting my head. So there's that. I mean, I don't know if that has anything to do with them coming back you know to the house with me but I'm pretty sure that they can't go with you even though it would be freaking awesome if they could but that's gonna do it for this episode of Yandere Simulator Myths if you guys have any more questions comments or challenges you want potentially featured in the next video please leave them in this comment section below and I will choose the most creative or unique ones but if you guys enjoyed this video please give it a like and tell a friend today that Jake from the Cub Scouts is dead too